Hey y'all, welcome back to my table of three. If you're new here, my name is Carrie, and I'm so glad you stopped by today for this video on All About Pies. Today I am joining over with Lynn at the Mennonite Farmhouse and Tony at Tail Kettle Kitchen for March Pies. Um, we did pies back in November, if you remember, and that was just a blast, so I couldn't wait to join in with Lynn and Tony's collaboration here for March Pies. So today I'm going to be featuring one of the recipes that's on my blog. It is a classic egg um, custard pie that features just four simple ingredients. If you use a pre-made pie crust like we will today, I had a couple in my freezer left from the holidays that I really need to get out. So I'm going to do a hit that. If you want a fully sugar-free, low-carb, keto, or um, trim healthy mama-friendly egg custard, I have you covered. The link to the recipe is in the description below, and that'll be totally sugar-free and gluten-free. But today, I'll talk about it as we go along, and I can also show you how to do it if you're not needing those diet-modified pies. So let's jump in, and I'll show you how I made this pie a couple of days ago. Today, I'm just getting ready to do some canning, so I'm getting my jars, but I made the pie a couple of days ago, and it's been in the fridge because I like mine chilled, so let's jump back and show how I made that, and then I'll come back, and I'll show you how we cut it in there, so let's get to it. All right, guys, here is all you need to make this easy egg custard. Remember, the full recipe to the sugar-free egg custard, low-carb, is in my link below. As I go along, I will also tell you the ingredients that you would need and a, a screenshot at the end of this video to show you how to make it if you don't need it to be sugar free. So I have two cups of heavy cream. If you were doing it non, non low carb, you could do two cups of evaporated milk, four large eggs, that is two teaspoons of vanilla, and this is three fourths cup of sweetener. I am doing a sweetener. You could use three fourths cups of sugar as well. Uh, remember the recipes below and then two regular pie dishes or one deep dish. I don't have any deep dish. I'm just doing store-bought right now, so mine is not going to totally be low-carb, but the recipe on link below will show you how to make one deep dish low-carb crust. If not, you could just use your favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. So I'm just going to add the sweetener or sugar. I'm going to add the two cups of heavy cream. All right, and so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn this burner on to medium, and I am going to mix this sugar in heavy cream. All right, so I'm just gonna do, all we're trying to do here is to melt the sugar, and we're gonna bring this to what they call a scald. And I will try and put the temperature um, right here at the bottom of the screen to show you what that is if you want to do a temperature. But basically, you're not going to boil your heavy cream or the evaporated milk. You just want to bring it to where the sugar is melted, it's hot, and it has small bubbles forming around the edges. That's called scalded milk. And that's all you need. And then we're going to slowly drizzle in the eggs and stir continuously. I'll bring you back when we get to that time. Okay, so now I have got this milk to a scalded temperature and you don't want it to boil but now we're going to temper our eggs which means we're going to slowly pour some of this hot milk into our egg mixture just to carefully warm it up because nobody wants scrambled egg pies we're not making breakfast <laughs> so i'm just going to slowly add some of the hot milk to the eggs just a little bit at a time during the whole time. I'm gonna switch hands too because I'm gonna better with that hand. All right, so once you bring the eggs up to a temperature that's not going to make them curdle, you can slowly pour them in to the remaining mixture over here. But I'm gonna do a little bit more. I really don't want my eggs to curdle. This is the hardest part of this pie. Okay, and that is it. Now, normally we would also use um, cinnamon or nutmeg. I don't like nutmeg. nutmeg. Um, and I can't believe it, but I'm out of cinnamon. Okay, so now I'm gonna, you'll see me put my egg slowly into this. You don't want to put cold eggs into this hot milk mixture because like I said it will scramble them and we want this to be very smooth creamy custard filling in our egg custard pie 
when you make something simple, it needs to be done right. It needs to be perfect because um, when it's so simple, it will easily show every flaw. So that's what I say. If you're gonna do it simple, you gotta take your time and do it right so it stands out. And this is a very basic, simple recipe. It's not really the cheapest right now with the heavy cream that I'm using and with the eggs what the prices are. Thankfully, my chickens have started laying, but this does make two pies, or like I said, you can cut it in half to make just one nine inch pie crust, not a deep, or one deep dish if you make it like this, or you can simply cut it in half and make one of these size pies that we're making today. So let me move this. I'm going to divide the filling slowly between each pie shell. This was my daddy's favorite pie. My mom left a note for me in the cookbook where I get this recipe from, and it said that it wasn't sweet enough for her, but my daddy really liked it. And this, probably gonna have to change this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. This um, sheet pan is warped, it looks like, so I'm gonna have to change them to another one because I want them to be even. <clears throat> the thing about those metal sheet pans. All right, so hope you guys can see it. It's getting pretty dark. All right, and that's it. Here is where if you had your cinnamon or your nutmeg, you could grade fresh nutmeg over it. I think that's what the recipe calls for. But like I said, I don't like nutmeg. Um, and cinnamon, I can't believe it, but I've let myself run out. So I did put, um, the vanilla is gonna be our main custard flavor. So I'm gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees because these pie crusts are raw, like you put them in raw, for 40 minutes. And when they come out, I will show you what they look like. All right, guys, so it has been 40 minutes at 350. And you can see the pie crust is golden brown and these just have a slight wiggle, but it should not be, see that barely slight, wiggle there you go and so these need to cool completely and to me it is best if you let them cool completely and then put them in a refrigerator and let them chill overnight because i think that gives the best texture to the custard so i will come back tomorrow probably after church and cut a slice of this and let you guys see how it looks but there are the classic egg custard pies fresh out of the oven all right, guys, so here we are. It's been a couple of days later. Oh, I just broke the crust. Oh, well. Thankfully, it's just for us. Things like that happen. But anyway, it's actually been a couple of days later. This has been in the refrigerator because remember I told you I like it chilled. I am going to cut a piece and show you what it looks like. You can let it just come to room temperature and cool it. My mom said that's actually how she likes it best. But I like mine cooled all the way. So I cut it right and I make sure I cut it. Should come right out and look at that. And put it on this plate. And there you have it. It's so, it's just creamy, it's custardy, it has a vanilla flavor, and it's just so good. Very simple. There you have it, egg custard pie. All right, that's it, you guys, for this simple egg custard pie. It's definitely a classic. I'm sure some of you have tried it before. If you haven't, it's definitely one you should try because even though it's very simple with just a few ingredients, they are delicious together when baked right. So hope you've seen how easy it was and that you will give it a try as well. Remember the link to the recipe below in the description box is to my low carb sugar free version and i will also and you just click that link and it'll take you to the post and you can scroll down to the recipe card where you can print it out and then if you don't want to need low carb you could just use evaporated milk and sugar instead of a sugar replacement and heavy cream then you have an egg custard pie that was not diet but this one honestly you cannot tell that it is sugar free um, and it's definitely not gluten free this time because i took a shortcut and used freezer some pie crust that i had in my freezer to get rid of those so 
I hope you guys have enjoyed it, like I said. Also, don't forget to check out the playlist below to the rest of the March Pie collaboration and check out Tony and Leanne's channel. Also, don't forget that there is a live giveaway on Leanne's channel, The Mennonite Farmhouse, which I have linked below on April the 3rd. You don't want to miss out on those great prizes, so make sure you watch the videos and leave some comments for the creators. See, even Lexi said you should. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the videos and have a great month, guys. I'll see you on the next video.